Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Garden here back with a brand new series that I'm calling Carmelo's Pizza. Now, Carmelo's, I'm not sure how to spell it correctly, but down where I grew up, there is a place called Carmelo's uh, Pizza or Carmelo's. It's uh, still there. Uh, last time I was down there a few months ago. It's a place that exists. So we're going to roll with that. Now, what we're, we're, this series is going to be a back to basics. Right there's there's I mean the mods I have are the same um, some that let you cycle through tables blah 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 ghost prep but I mean we're back to basics for no crazy mods like no crazy mods no modded dishes no Halloween maps no crazy you know I don't even know how to, how do I want to describe but there's no no candy kitchen there's no cakes there's nothing that's it's back to basics and the funny thing with back to basics because pizza was never one of the basic dishes but back to basics. Just starting off with, uh, you know, your, your uh, blueprint cabin here. We're going to go through a normal run here and go back to, I, I don't know, let's call it back to basics. Because I haven't done like one of these vanilla runs, at least for what I would consider um, a vanilla run. You know, we did our, uh, the pasta, you know, we did the, we did the coffee, you know, we did uh, a couple of different ones, right? And it's like, you know, we're going to let it, let it just, uh. Let it roll, right? Let it roll, as they say. And I think that is uh, is fine. Back to basics. I love doing pizza anyway. So without further ado, we have our restaurant set up here. <clears throat> and we have three groups, uh, four tables. So you know you know the drill here, right? If you have as many or fewer groups than you have tables, you call everybody. Because everything is going to be helpful, basically. Uh, you know, one thing we have to start working on here for automation purposes is we need to get, you know, some mixers going. So we have five people. So that means we're going to have to do um, more than one whole pie. And we can actually put the pie here because you can portion from tables, by the way. This one here. And we're back to, well, back to basics, as I always say. Well, I don't always say it, but I say it now. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Got our little saucy sauce made. And I mean, pizza is one of those dishes where you can automate it. Uh, it takes a lot to automate it, like a lot of stuff, but it's easily done. Like it's nothing too crazy. This should hopefully does not burn on me. It does not. And why I like pizza, <clears throat> two reasons. One is because it gives you four portions. Like I love things that give you four portions. I was thinking about doing fish or about doing, you know, I haven't done fish in a while, blah, blah, blah. I also like the door placement of the Oxford map, by the way, not to get off topic here, because they have to look all the way to the end and that still counts as part of the day. If the door is closer to where I'm standing here, it's like they'll walk out and boom, you're done. I mean, yes, I know they'd have to walk this far, but it doesn't look doesn't look the same for me. So we got no blueprint, <laughs> no research test. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go right away for new more plates. I think I'm gonna start putting things I don't want up here. And the reason why we want to do more plates is because you know we have four groups now, right? Because pizza, let's look at the card real quick. Pizza is no reduction, like basic pizza. Your onion, your shroom, and then your, um, I think there's the only two, right? There's only two different other ones. They give you a reduction in customers, finally. Uh, what we're going to do here is, I mean, a better sink would always be good. Because like, basically we're holding something until tomorrow. Because um, we will have dishes. And I think, you know, what? one of those things that I want to try to work on right away is going to be dish control. Or dish, well, dish control, dish cleaning. Also buying tables. This is a kind of surprise we didn't get a table either, which is kind of, well, like I said, surprising. All right, so we're going to call everybody again because remember, the way that calling works is you get three cards. You get three cards. You get three coins. Actually, you can just do it like this. Tap, tap. And you can do it like this. Is you get three coins per base. Is a base per base, if that makes sense. Uh, the base rate of coins is three. Now... Let's get this one done. Do, 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 do. Boop, boop. Base one is three. And why that matters is because every time you call, no matter what day it is, you're going to have at least three coins. But the way it works is you get three coins plus one for every other day, right? So because we have an even, like the even number of days, I guess is how I would, I would, I would describe it. It's because we have, you know, we're on day two. We're obviously going to get, well, your base three plus one because one is half of two obviously and then that gives you four so hey four rings is 14 extra coins the day before was well nine extra coins or whatever it was right so that's something sorry about that so what you should try to focus on things like that in my opinion in my opinion 
Do, 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 do. All right, RD, finally. So here's the thing. We almost have to do this route. The, the typical, now, I hate the term meta, like the meta that you do, because I see this on the disc, the plate up Discord. If you guys are on that, maybe you see that. But to me, it's like, what's the, you know, what's the current meta of how to play the game? I, I honestly, I hate that. Every time I see someone ask that, I want to say there is no meta. Play what you want, because then people come, people come in. The big, the big kind of thing is you save a research desk, you get the next one, you buy it, right? Then you upgrade this to you get a copy desk, right? And then you buy the copy desk, you throw the research desk out. And then you then wait until you get another research desk because you've thrown your one out and put it back here and then copy it and then buy the next one and then start upgrading it to get blueprint kept. Like to me, you're going to be at day like seven or eight before you have any of that. And to me personally, I find that ridiculous. 100% ridiculous. Now we could call, actually no, I'm not going to call. Not call. Call is not what I wanted to say. I'm going to put it here. Now we can start shimmering, shimmying some of this out of the way is I could ring, or I keep saying call and ring. I, I could re-roll, cripes. But the problem with re-rolling is, is, is if you re-roll and you get something that you want to then upgrade, but you have something locked into upgrade, it's a pointless re-roll. So I never like doing that, especially early on, unless I'm looking for like a table or something like that. So again, we have four groups, four tables. So one, two, and, and we still are going to get four, only get four coins. You know why? Because, well, because... Um, uh, three is an odd number and you don't get extra coins on odd number days so one one other trick i'll show you this in a second because we're gonna have to make another pie here is that if you put this in the sink this is a single tap to make it right and that's a good tip as long as you don't have to do dishes but it's a good a good thing in a sense i'm just gonna make the other one because we need two for we need six pieces here six slices i always say piece some people say slice i don't know to me it's a, a piece of pizza like you're like, oh, we have our dinner. I'm gonna have a piece of pizza. Maybe it's just how I grew up. You weren't, you didn't always really say slice of pizza. I'm gonna have a slice. No, I'm gonna have a piece. Like, what's the difference? I mean, it is a slice of a whole pie, but it's also a piece of the pie. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the whole meta thing. I don't, I don't want to, you know, I'm not, I don't, I don't get into stuff like that. I basically my meta is I play the same exact way almost every time as far as how I like to do research. Put it in there, wait to get another one, upgrade the first one to depending on what type of run it is, to a blueprint desk typically. Alright, see what we got. Uh oh, are you serious? What's that freaking pie? I really don't want to get into having another core like cherry pies. Cause you gotta need the flour. I mean we already have that. Make the dough, okay, and then we gotta cook and then add cherries and cook again. So sedate atmosphere is basically like I always used to say they're free cards, and they're free in the sense that it doesn't give you any more work. Ooh, look at that. So now this is working. So what we'll do is you buy this one. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And I am gonna buy tables because I like pushing back messes. That's like one of my big things. You guys know this. Why is that set up like that? That should be there, and that should be like that, and then that one should be. Oh, <coughs> excuse me, like that. There we go. Uh yeah, that was weird. Okay. So again, you keep you're gonna keep getting staples. So tables a staple, research desk is a staple until you buy one, uh plates are a staple, sinks and hobs. And because we haven't bought a sink or taken it out of this pool, they're gonna keep appearing for a while. Eventually they'll stop, but for now, at least through day five or so, they they'll keep appearing. Now we have to get out to research now. So what that means is I think we can probably just put the research he, uh, whoop, uh, not like that here and then put dish down here because i think that is perfectly fine as well and i mean i have no issues like corner bumping or corner grabbing i know a lot of people have trouble like if this wouldn't be here they'd have a lot of trouble hitting this table because you know you'll just slide past it unless you use like for me it's space bar and then you can spin on, on on command i don't have a problem with cornering but you know what it's just easier if you don't have to like slide cornering i guess you call it but now we have five groups, right? So we technically shouldn't call everybody, but we're probably gonna call everybody anyway. And well, not, maybe not, not everybody in the beginning. Dude, dude, I wanna get one pie going. And then we'll call everybody else because it's fairly confident to do that because someone's gonna be waiting outside, which is perfectly fine. Four, five. Because you know what though? We just made 25 free, and these are free, free coins. This is gonna go here. Get these guys out. Do we have any singles? We don't have any singles today. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
That's so, okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's the other one. So now here's another trick, right? So if you're if you pick up, put down, right? Pick up, put down, and they'll sit there. That's another cool little trick that you may beginner people, beginner players may not know that type of trick. Now there is most like this is like a tutorial. <laughs> it's not a tutorial. Um, oh, I it's just I'm just trying to tell you guys about it. Uh, certain little quirky things of the game. One, two. Oh, we're gonna have to make another pie too. Crap, because a pie only gives you three por or excuse me, four portions, and we're gonna we need. Uh, I keep doing that. This, this, I'm gonna miss it. No, okay. Typically, things burn at the same rate as they cook. Uh, with an asterisk above that, big time asterisk above that, because some things don't. But typically, typically, the longer, oh, there's a single uh, person down there. But typically, the longer it takes something to cook, the longer it will take to burn. That's not always the case, especially the modded dishes aren't, that's not the case either um some things burn really really freaking quickly and you're like what the heck it took forever to cook but it's burning super fast y you know you know all right we're rolling along here too okay let's see what we got <clears throat> all right we eat okay all right so here and also on day five let's, let's go best backtrack two seconds now this is a blue. This is a discount desk, excuse me, because the blueprint desk would have the little yellow things you see right here. But my mouse, this would be on the right hand side if it was a blueprint desk. So discount. The way that it goes, it goes CBD. Copy blueprint discount. Yes, CBD is a coin I've turned a term I've coined probably close to two years ago. Uh, that to remember the the order. Copy blueprint discount. So we have discount. That means it's going to be a copy desk tomorrow. So we're just going to leave that as is. Um, but remember tomorrow. Is going to be deco day which is not the greatest thing in the world but it's okay now again we don't we still don't uh how can i do this i can turn that one off <clears throat> because it doesn't really matter where the chairs are as long as you don't have them along here because that way messes won't spawn because messes only can spawn one tile this chair can only spawn messes here here or here well because the tables here and tables here it can't spawn there and here it could spawn but it can't spawn inside and that has nothing to do with the the the, uh, the pass through here. It's because of where the tables, where the chairs are. They can only spawn messes within one tile, the eight tiles around them. Three, six, seven, eight, right? And they can't spawn messes where the chairs are. It doesn't work that way. So again, here we have all staples. These are all four staples. This would be a staple as well. And the table's a staple. So we keep getting them. But what we're going to do here is we're going to upgrade this or research it again to get a copy desk. And depending on what drops we have here, we may either buy the copy desk or we may buy the blueprint desk. And I probably will end up buying a blueprint desk because that's typically how I like the two things. How are we on time? Oh, we're perfect on time. Really early, early going here. Now, the one downside of having a blueprint desk early on, or even any time really, is you can't really ring because you're gonna miss out on some of the blueprints. And some people say, no, you won't, no, you won't. You will, man, you will. Just like, just believe me for two seconds here. Yes, when you ring, it does advance the customer. Like it does advance the blueprint, I should say, but it doesn't advance it that much. You know what I mean? It's not like every time you ring, you get a fresh item. It doesn't work that way. I could just leave this in here, by the way. So we do need another one. We can go boop, boop. So I like doing the tappy taps, tap, tap. Whoops. <laughs> tap that wrong. And you can hold these down. Now, the one thing when it comes to pizza is you can't add the cheese first. This isn't Chicago. You could add this, and then you could add whatever topping you want. You could add cheese, and then mushroom, mushroom, then cheese, onion, then then cheese, blah, 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 blocks. Understand? Understand. Of course you understand. You guys are smart. I kind of don't like that the plates are so far away. Because we only really have to wash a couple plates. I don't know. Maybe I want to. Maybe I want to do some swippy swapping. It's a term I use to, to change things around. Swippy swap. Like if I put the oven up here. Um. Yeah. I'm trying to think here. So deco day. Um. Okay. So charming is good because you've increased bell patience. That's when they're waiting for the order to be taken. That's a good card. Patience decreases when you're slower. I don't really care about that one. And then customers sit when the tables are cleared. I really don't, I don't care about that yet. The th thing is, okay, if we have a long-term plan of, of fully automating the dishes, then charming tier three is good, right? But 
Exclusive has Q patients increased, which is going to be helpful to us. Uh, the Q stop table patient decreasing. That's only good if we really have a huge lineup. But again, it depends what cards we get. We may end up having a Q outside uh, that ends up stopping table patients from going down, which is great. But I also like exclusives um, extra money per item delivered. I do like that. Um, things are charming. Tier one is good, but exclusive tier two is good. But I don't know. I may actually, I don't take charming very often, right? We're making decent money right now. Um, I almost kind of want to do charming. Let's just try. Why not? Why not, baby? Why not, baby? So here I could buy the copy desk, right? But I still think I want to get a blueprint desk. All right. So what do we have here? We can buy a bunch of these. I like this one. I'm not going to put that down because that's going to kill my eyes. This is pure, like a white, pure white. I don't like that at all. There we go. So dartboard, these are 30. Rugs, we don't really need anymore. 30, 30. Do we have any other 30s? Uh, no. Um, so we, we could spend 100 coins and get the first tier, which is probably, now the barrels, just if you don't know, you can put things on the barrels. Uh, I think we might as well just buy the, <coughs> excuse me there, might as well buy the rug. It, like it doesn't hurt. Because it's still a 40. It's a 40 coiner. It'll buy the dart boards. Maybe we'll put one uh, put one here. So this is kind of good though. Typically at day when you hit day five, I, I well end of day five, I usually don't have any money. <clears throat> like I got sorry, I don't have the money to buy a hundred coins worth. But we haven't purchased anything. All we purchased so far was three tables. That's it. <laughs> we haven't purchased it. Well, in this. So 20, 40, 60, and this was 40. So we only spent 100 coins so far. So that's why we're making some money. So that's good. Um, but things are we're up to seven groups now. Wow, I went from four to five to five to seven. Why did it go up so fast? I don't know. Now, this dining room is set up. See, this is where formal would have been good, but I don't have formal. Where the dining room is big enough to where I could, if I eventually have pizza automated, depending on, and I could have things sitting along here, I could, I could serve from here and serve this way. But unless you have formal for that, it's really tough because you're going to deal with messes all the time. I got to posture check myself here, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Um, we're going to upgrade this again to a CBD copy blueprint discount. Back to copy, back to blueprint. So we're going to get a blueprint desk for tomorrow. Uh, let's go. Up. So I don't want to call too many. Typically, what I like doing when it comes to calling is I like calling later in the run, like later in the day, not early on, just to let it, you know, just later and the reason why i think i like doing it later is because it's like okay i have seven groups today once i get through four of them or three of them even i'm gonna i know i'm gonna have enough tables i'm gonna put this pies on up here right so right here these are two singles easy peasy so that's gonna be a fresh table because I think right now we have five customers. Actually, there's a double coming in. I think it's safe now for me to call the rest. One, two, three, four, five. That's 30 coins, right? 30 extra coins because 30 is 30. Well, okay, that was stupid to say. Of course, 30 is 30. <laughs> 30 coins is 30 coins, and that's more than, uh, you know, boop, boop, there we go. So here's where charming actually does, is, is, a, is, a, is a definite positive. Do we have enough pies? We have, we're one freaking short. Because what else is new? Um, while Charming Tier 3 is, while why it is good is because, let's get down here, get this done. Because if I'm like one table, say I can, I call everybody, right? Well, if I only have four tables, but I have eight groups, the first groups will come in, they'll get up because they'll be finished. And guess what? The other ones will come and sit right down. So like that's really a good that's a good thing, I think at least for me. <laughs> but what that does mean is we have to start. I mean again we have to start working on everything. But for me right now it's making the pizzas are not the problem. See the problem right here? This is the problem. Dishes. On a typical normal run you're going to have problems with dishes before you have problems with anything else. All right, let's see. I mean I don't mind taking customer cards either. It's just a matter of what customer cards we're going to get and what makes sense. Water. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, both of these I don't want. Hmm. Actually, no. Well, I, I don't want cherry pie. Why did we get that twice in a row? That kind of is annoying. 
I mean, I think I'll take individual dining. This does mean, though, that we cannot get the larger group cards, because once you have individual dining, the medium groups, the flexible dining, as well as the large group cards become um, uh, inactive, in a sense. Uh, just like as soon as you get the medium group cards or flexible dining cards, and then sub subsequently the large group, individual dining becomes obsolete, because you can't have individual dining and then have big groups. It doesn't, like, they don't, they don't work together, which makes sense. But I think we got to go individual. Which does mean we could also work on tables too. I'm going to leave everything how it is, but the, but but the thing is though, one good thing with individual dining, it, there's a good and a bad. I can turn I can turn basically all of these off. So the good with individual dining is it's only one dish per per table, and what that why that is a good thing, is because eventually if we end up getting enough plates, we won't have to empty. We won't have to really by having this double setup, which okay. Let me just think once. Okay, I don't want to get I don't want to get too ahead of myself buy this let's get this out of the way this can go here and then we're only going to buy the other table and, and buying this for two reasons one is if we end up getting around to doing some sort of crazy automation run you want to have a setup that's like this two is like i said if we get end up getting enough plates or at least semi enough plates you could leave all the plates on here on this table here and you could still serve here even if they come and sit down at it right so that that could be positive for us down the line down the line now what do we want to work on as far as upgrading well to me the number one thing right now has to be dishes <laughs> we want to work on dishes and for me sorry guys i have a tickle in my throat tonight for me dishwasher is great wash basin is okay power sink is okay i mean I don't know, like soaking sinks for right now, soaking sinks will not be helpful for us because they're too slow and we don't have an automation set up. Obviously, we're not anywhere near automation. Um, a power sink would be good, but then it's like, hey, okay, we have to do this one, wash it, put it back. Do this and wash, put it back. I'd much rather like collect all four, shove them in a washing machine or yeah, washing machine, dishwasher. And there you go. Even the basin. Um, so we're going to try to shoot for one of those two. And the order that they go in, by the way, is it goes soaking sink, power sink, Basin, dishwasher, back to soaking. So I guess it's like S P W D. <laughs> it's like like W A S D, right? For the W the the uh, QWERTY keyboard. Anyway, uh, we're just gonna keep rocking. We're good on time here. We'll do we'll do one more day uh, again with individual dining. So what I what I, what I was kind of saying earlier is indi why individual dining is good is because you're guaranteed a certain amount of customers, right? Period. It's not a it's not a you know guessing game of how many you're going to get. It doesn't work. It, you're going to have a set amount. But the downside with that, and the also I should say the other positive with that, because there is another positive. The other positive with that is the fact that uh, we don't really need conveyor belts right now. The the other positive with that is the fact that you get a lot more money on ring by ringing. So I think honestly for me right now I'm going to take that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna redo this. I'm gonna call a bunch like a lot right now. I'm gonna call a lot, like all of them. This may be a little bit much, but I still think we'll be okay. And there's this one, this one here, this one here. Do do do. Now, oh yeah, that, that timer is going freaking crazy right now, going down. Do do do. do. There we go. We're fine. You see here, we're having the issue with the dishes. We have a lot of people outside. Holy crap. Okay, maybe that was not a good idea. This is the one we have to work at right now. Now yeah, we're okay. I need to make another pie though, but hopefully we can get everybody inside before that happens. I don't think we will. Uh, yeah, we will. We'll, we'll be fine. That can go there, and then uh, this can go here, and this can go like that. There we go. All right, everybody's inside. We're fine, baby. See how the dishes are a problem, and you know, look, do you see what's down there? You see what's down there? The first thing we freaking got? You see that? You see it? You see it? That is a dish. I don't need to do that. That's a dishwasher, baby. A dishwasher is exactly what we want, what I wanted. I shouldn't say we. Exactly what I wanted was a DW, a dishwasher, right off the bat. Because two reasons. One is because that's what we wanted, and two, it saves us days of research. Right? Right. Which is another good thing. I still don't like the oven being here. I wonder if I should move the tomatoes somewhere else. I put the oven here, like where I'm standing. Uh, so, as I was saying with the blueprint desk and the calling with the ring ring and the dining, there's a balance. 
to me, it's like, you know, as soon as you can lock in something, or lock in it, well, you lock it in while well, on the blueprint desk, which was, which is up, up here. As soon as you lock it in, bam, just call. Not, don't go crazy with calling though. So we lock this in. So, I mean, because we got our DW, a dishwasher, that's exactly what we wanted. We're going to replace that with this. Now we have to do a little bit more finagling around. It's kind of, because actually not, because what we can do, we can do the trick here where I can, we can put the oil in the sink, right? Uh, and then that way, um, we don't have to I'll put this, put this here. Maybe, I don't know. Can I pick that up? Put it here. That way you put the oil in the sink. Cause we don't need the sink anymore, right? You can just grab this and do not pick up, put down your interact button, which for me is the eight on the D pad, uh, controllers. Or I don't know what it is on your, your guys things. And I can then put that right here. I can do 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 now. But the thing is, I think I do want to let's do this and let's just see if this does anything. So right away, what we'll do is we'll we'll grab this, put it in here, grab that, boom, boom, and I can put that right in there, and then do this and this and this, and then as soon as I'm, but then the problem is then I'm. Let's do it like this, because I want what? I, no, 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 you dumb, dumb. This to this, and then what I want to do is put. Yeah, this is what I want to do, like this. So I can do one here and do one here, right? And then what I can do is then put this in here. And then when this cooked, I can put it here because this is a lot shorter distance than running from here up to here and then all the way back down again or whatever. So here it'll be a lot shorter. Um, and also because we're getting to the we're not automation stage, we're getting to this stage. We could also get trainers. But what I so here, here's a dilemma as well is, OK, do we want to upgrade this to try to get something else? Well, to get another blueprint test, basically. Or do we want to start working on things like a hob, like a safety hob? But we're not at automating yet. We're nowhere near automation. But speaking of that, we're actually way out of time. Well, not way out of time. We're about a minute or two over what I typically like being at. But you know what? We're, we're doing good. Day eight already. We're ha almost almost halfway through. We're individual dining is rolling good. Ele we, we still only have 11 groups. What? So yesterday we had 11 groups. The day before that we had seven. And then we had four. What, what the heck? The group size things are weird. But again, it's one to one. So like the groups are... Like there's a percentage at like it's 11 point something. We don't get to see the point something because it's irrelevant because it needs to be a whole, a whole group number. So yesterday it could have been 11.01. Like that's just what the percentage ticked over to with, with this and blah, blah, blah. And then, and then today at the end of today, it could have been 11.99. So you technically could be like one whole group ahead, but I think it's just how, I mean, that's my, how it makes sense to me, but usually you jump up more than like, you know, 10% every time, but because it should be 13, but you know what? Maybe it's just funky. doesn't matter. We're done for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. It would be much appreciated. And if you're enjoying this brand new series or any other video on my channel, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, tick the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future episodes. And as always, catch you guys next time.